Hello, my friends. It's Sailing Malai here again. This week, I was going to show you some stuff I done on the bottom of the boat that might have helped me out uh, going to weather on this boat. It seems like it goes pretty good, so stick around. down to business those uh where the skags usually are for the boat to protect your rudders i filled all of that in with uh three-quarter plywood marine grade and uh did it just like i did the boat and uh we uh laminated it in there with the epoxy and everything then i took three inch uh um, fiberglass tape and taped it in and then six inch and then went over the whole thing with fiberglass so it's on there really good so it, i did it exactly like you build the hull as as i just added that in and i, I feel like that gave me a lot more upwind ability because it's almost like having a uh, um dagger board or something sticking down there it's not the entire bottom of the boat but it sure does help i believe and it takes some of the weather helm out of the steering too i believe this is from one of my early videos and i was discussing the uh fill in right there in front of the skeg and uh the three and the six inch tape that i put on there and fiberglass to the end and uh, did all my fillets around it. It really came out real nice. Everything was smooth and slick. And I think I'd had an epoxied the entire hull right there and sanded it. And I was getting ready to put the fiberglass sheet over the whole thing and uh, waiting on the weather and uh, help to get there so I could get that done. Uh, it's a pretty big job fiberglassing a 26 foot hull by yourself. So when I set my Windex on top of the mast, I spread it just a little bit wider than it came because I knew a catamaran's not going to go that tight to the wind. So I, I spread it out a little farther, but uh, I can just about hit those tabs up there. So I'm figuring about 55 degrees, 50 degrees off the wind. That's pretty darn good um, from what I've heard from other people. Yeah, it was a lot of work from uh, the start to get to the point where I'd have a hull up and ready to go. And Well, I couldn't wait for that day when I had that thing going and sitting in the water. Man, that's, that drove me all that time that we were there working in the cold and the rain and everything. Here's the I held up. And there's my fins that I put on the bottom of it make that thing go more to weather and if i hit anything it won't get hung on that skeg and tear it up it should slide across off the back so that that's another good thing about that uh design and uh yeah it's almost seamless now it, it's it's pretty amazing it, uh, I'm sure it slows me down when I'm tacking or turning, but when we're uh, headed up wind, you sure are glad that's there. Yeah, this is another idea that uh, I wish was mine, but it's not. Uh, I researched the fire out of these boats before I ever started on it. I watched every video that I could find on it and uh, uh, kind of memorized what everybody had done and and uh, looked at all their ideas and stuff and some of them made a lot of sense and uh, the uh, 
filling in the skag area was uh, Catamaran Ariki. Uh, it's a young lady built a uh, 26 and uh, if you hadn't ever checked her out, check her out. She's She's got some pretty good stuff there and uh, got some good ideas and that was one of them and I really liked the sound of it. Um, she did it when she raised the mast one foot and she cut her sail one foot and that gave her two feet extra headroom in the cockpit. I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted the extra headroom. I was more worried about the comfort than I was speed or anything like that. So, uh, bees everywhere out here. And anyways, um, I raised my mast two feet and kept the full sail. Um, just in case, <laughs> you, if you want to go fast, you got to have some, uh, cloth up there you know but uh so i saw what she had done and she said it had really bad weather home after she did that so filling in the skag area solved that issue and she's right uh, this thing will you can let go of that that bar and it, it'll sail on its own for a while before you have to make a change in it. It's pretty neat how good it works. So I, I really believe it's more helpful uh, sailing the weather. So, because that sets pretty deep into the water on the back. It's as deep as anything on the hull. So it should give you a lot more uh, ability to go upwind. And that, that's why I done that. That's just one of the modifications. I, I did on it when I was building. Um, I guess you can tell I raised the cabins. Um, I know this windage is supposed to keep it down in front. But I wanted a place to sit. So I raised the cabins up and they're pretty much even all the way up from one end to the other. Put a little bit bigger window in the front and uh, I really like it. I like it and I don't think it hurts me too bad. Like I said, I, I didn't build a race boat. Um, if I had, it'd look a lot different and it, it would be to spec and it would be nothing in there that, that I didn't need to win a race. But uh, you know, not many race boats carry all that food and drink and, and uh, overnight stuff with them so yeah that's it um next next uh episode i'll go into some of the things i'm uh changing and some of the things i discovered about my mast and my mast beam and uh, it's a learning thing you know i i don't know everything i'm trying to learn this as best i can and pass it on when I do uh, come across something that'll help somebody out. I'll, I'll put it on here. Uh, Y'all feel free to comment. What do you think about the, the fill in there? I really think it works good. I did give up a little on the turning aspect, but I gained a lot up when. And uh, if you plan your uh, trips out, you can spend more time going straight lines and fast than turning. All right, guys, do something you love.